I gotta tell you. So. <laughs> This is my view right now. I gotta tell you, um, I think I still have a little bit of a ways to go, but oh my god, that uh, I'm telling you, <laughs> Huntington Ravine Trail. If if you're not, if you don't have a huge set of balls, don't do it. Find another goddamn way to come. <laughs> Holy shit, they were a couple times there. Oh my god, literally hanging on by my fingertips. Um, Anyway, I'm going to keep pushing, keep getting to the top, but damn, <laughs> this trail is not good. Look at that. Yeah, so already an interesting morning. plan is to go up, well, was to go up Tuckerman's Ravine Trail, hit the Huntington Ravine Trail, and then get to the top of Washington somehow that way. The interesting part is I just had to take a detour because if you've ever been on the Tuckerman Ravine Trail, right at the bottom there's a bridge probably like a sixteenth of a mile into the trail and the bridge was actually washed out so a little bit of a detour but uh, what they did is they sent you up the Sherburn ski trail and then you hook back onto Tuckerman's and then on, on the way up so that's where we're at actually there's another one look at that plan for today is go up Tuckerman's until I hit the Huntington Ravine Trail, then head over that way and uh, get to the top of Washington and then coming down, I don't know, make a game day decision. They say that Huntington Ravine Trail, from everything I've read, and this is my first time ever doing it, say that that's one of the, and I've read some websites that say it's the hardest trail in from what they, people said, the, the East Coast itself, but certainly New England. So we'll see. Here we go. There it is. Tuckman Ravine Trail. Huntington Ravine Trail. Do you really want to take the Huntington Ravine Trail to the summit? This route requires hands and feet. Steep rock above cliffs, slip or fall can result in injury or death. Darkness, wet conditions, descending make the route harder. Other routes exist that are easier. This route is often called the most difficult route in the White Mountains. Sounds like a good idea. Let's do it. You can hear water down there. Sounds like some type of uh, waterfall or something. I can't see it though. Very thick, very thick uh, foliage, as they might say. But um, yeah. so as far as the Huntington Ravine Trail goes, the what little I know of it is supposedly there's a couple different sections with a couple different names. There's a thing called the Fan, which I guess it looks like, I'm trying to squeeze through some trees here. Um, I guess it looks like kind of like an old fan spread out, hence the name the fan. Pretty ingenious. Um, and then there's a, the next part I guess is called the slab. And that's where you kind of, I think, go up these uh, rock faces, which I think is what they're talking about when they say it's pretty difficult and they say that the first slab is the one that is uh, kind of the most challenging and then you know from there you're kind of good to go and then supposedly there's some things called the chimneys which is I guess the kind of upper part of the whole Huntington Ravine Trail which is uh, I don't know the best way I could describe it is it almost looks like uh, kind of steep like vertical climbing but it looked like there were 
you know, good places to put your hands and feet and stuff like that. So I'm not too worried about that. The slab, we'll see. <laughs> so I don't know how much filming I'm gonna be able to do there, certainly while I'm climbing, but um, we'll see what happens here. Looks like I'm coming up on that waterfall thing. Made it. Now we go up here. So made it. I didn't take a swim. We're off to a great morning here. Okay, so a little story time here. You can see basically uh, <laughs> when I got on the road this morning. I have a, it's like a hundred twenty or something mile ride to get up here to, you know, Mount Washington, this neck of the woods. So it's a good ride, you know, two and a half hours. And uh, <laughs> I'll cut right to the chase. Uh, for the first time ever in my life, 36 years old, I hit a deer and the, uh, <laughs> the interesting part is, is I hit the deer. I mean, it had to be no more than five minutes away from my house. So that's the bad news. The good news is a couple fold. One is that uh, the deer's alive. Actually, it was a baby. It had to be like two feet tall, this little deer, a little baby. Came out of nowhere, kind of ran right to left. And that, so good news is he's alive. The other good news is I was going about, I was on my, basically my street. And you know, I was going, I think the speed limit's like 30. I was going like 20 just because it was dark and whatever, you know? And all of a sudden this thing runs in front of me and bonk, bonk, that's what it sounded like. So, deer's alive, no damage to the car. We're all good. Huntington Ravine Trail, Mount Washington, that way. And then Raymond Path, Old Jackson Road, Tuckum. So basically, I just popped out back there kind of came from that way, just backwards to my right. Um, I don't know, probably like a sixteenth of a mile back. And I popped out into this, which, I don't know if that thing's gonna like focus or not, but um, basically, yeah, I don't think you can see it. That right there, it looks like it's Huntington Ravine, so I there it is. I think I had the camera exposure all screwed up here and as you can tell it's a GoPro so I can't zoom but oh man look at that <laughs> all right I think this is gonna get interesting I know every time well it's only, only my third time up here but every time I've come up here I say it looks like the moon it looks like the damn moon up there <laughs> So I'm getting closer here to the base of that ravine. I'll tell you why. Because I'm seeing this thing here. See this? This is the, I guess, Albert Dow. Climber, rescuer, friend. Killed in an avalanche while on a search for a fellow climber. January 25th, 1982. That's pretty crazy. That's actually a couple days away from my birthday. Kind of interesting. But this is... Uh, I remember reading about this. This is like a, it's like a, I think they call it a cache, right? Uh, for saving hikers, climbers, you know, stuff like that. Actually, yeah, first aid cache on the side. So, yeah, we're getting close. Kind of standing on like boulders and stuff. But you can see, I think that's the fan thing. And then that kind of crevice there. That's that slab, I think, and then you go up from there. So I think it's like, whoosh. so keep moving. There it is. <clears throat> Look at this view.
amazing. So this is Huntington Ravine. Look at this thing behind me. You can actually see Wildcat over here in the distance. And up behind me, that's where I'm going. Maybe kind of following that guy up there. And uh Look at that. Awesome waterfall. You can see that guy up there. That's where I'm going. So I gotta, I'm kind of keeping an eye about where he's going. <laughs> so I don't get completely cooked up here, but. Um, oh, look at that moon still out too. That's pretty cool. But yeah, look at that. Just. Awesome waterfall. That's awesome. All right. Well, now I have to go kind of up that way. <laughs> so here we go. I'm not gonna film while I'm walking. This is kind of this is probably one of the most sketchy things I've done. So here we go. So, I just passed the thing called the fan. That was that kind of rock scramble thing that I just went over. Um, now I'm at this thing called the, the slab, which is this guy right here. And the thing that's killing me right here is uh, I don't see any, you know, I, I'm not saying I should see arrows or, you know, green lights and red lights and yellow lights and stop signs up here, but I'm not seeing any markings on the rock whatsoever of where to go. The one good bit of information is that the guy that was ahead of me, I know he's up there right now. <laughs> Just trying to figure out exactly how he got up there. And I'm thinking I have to kind of go up this way. Um, unless over there, that might be, might be a yellow mark over there. Maybe that's where I need to go. I'm going to take a walk over there. I think I see a yellow mark on a rock over there. Let's check that out. Holy moly, guys. Wow, all right, so, deep breath. Here I am. Top of this cliff here. With it being that windy, that's about as close as I'm getting. So, I need to go up here. tell you so <laughs> this is my view right now I gotta tell you um, I think I still have a little bit of a ways to go but oh my god that uh, I'm telling you <laughs> Huntington Ravine Trail if, if you're not if you don't have a huge set of balls don't do it find another goddamn way to come out <laughs> Shit. There were a couple times there. Oh my god. Literally hanging on by my fingertips. Um, anyways, I'm gonna keep pushing, keep getting to the top. But damn, <laughs> this trail is no joke. Alright. So here I am. I, I think. I think. You can see another uh, Huntington Ravine Trail sign there. on the rock over there. I don't know what that is. I think it was making noise at me when I came up. But Huntington Ravine Trail. Getting up there. Keep going. There it is. That's the monster. Karen. That uh, hangs out at the top of the Huntington Ravine Trail. 
trail. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so relieved that that is uh over. Let's take a look at this. Nelson Crag. Auto Road Point 3. So wow. Amazing. So here I am at the top of Huntington. The beast of the Karen. See up there, that's the summit, Mount Washington. So this is a new way coming up for me. I think the wind's gonna be pretty bad, but this is the Nelson Crag Trail. Goes up to the summit. You can actually see the summit there. It looks like the cog railway uh, or the train there is actually at the top as well. So we'll see. A lot windier than last time though. <laughs> top and then I do that. Nice <laughs> I came up Huntington. I didn't slip once. I fall here. I, <laughs> I, I hope I have my camera off. <laughs>
backside. You guys have seen some of my, I guess my two other, hopefully the wind isn't too bad here. Uh, if you guys have seen my two other Mount Washington videos, this being the third here, because I've only been up three times, three different ways, uh, going up and coming down in different ways and stuff. Um, one of the things I mentioned, I, th I think it was video two, was, you know, I think a lot of people, if you look, you know, earlier on in the video and you see that line of people um, up by the summit sign, right? You know, everybody's in, uh, you know, flip-flops and t-shirts and, you know, they just hopped off the car, grill, way it drove up or something and, you know, they get in front of the sign, they take their summit picture sign, uh, summit sign picture and, you know, I think there's a lot of people that, you know, hikers and stuff that, or outdoors people that kind of get pissed at that, you know? You know, look at these people, you know? How oh dare they take a picture at the sign? I say good, man. You know, listen. You know, for a bunch of reasons, right? They're, they, I don't care how they got up here. They're in the fresh air, they're not sitting on the couch. They're paying pretty big money to drive up the road and uh, support this place and keep it open, keep it clean, keep it, you know, good to go. You know, um, and um, people are out with their families. It's an experience. They're enjoying it. One of the things I was laughing at though was, <laughs> and listen, more power to him, right? But there was a guy at the top, right near the summit sign, and he's, uh, <laughs> he gets off the cog railway and just starts ripping a butt, you know, smoking cigarettes, blowing smoke everywhere, and going, oh boy. But, you know, hey, to each his own, you know? At least he's not smoking cigarettes on the couch, right? That's the way I look at it.
it's, it's windy, I keep taking my hat off. But what I gotta do is I just went up to Mount Monroe, so it's kind of cool, right? Check that other one out. I'm not the peak back, but it was kind of cool. It's pretty close by, so the thing that stinks is that. though isn't it it's a massive rock just split hence the term split rock hmm. all right so I'm getting pretty close to the bottom here <laughs> once I had a heart attack look at this See that guy? Ugh. I almost stepped on him. Yeah, go. I, I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just looking at you. Shh. Ay, ay, ay. Almost stepped on the thing. Sure, Tom was. I just not a huge fan of snakes. <laughs> Is where basically I started. If you guys remember, I had to take a detour because the Tuckerman Ravine Trail, the very first bridge, I guess, is washed out or they're working on it or something. So I would say probably, you know, it's all downhill, of course, but I would say I'm probably you know, two minutes away from my car or something. So getting close. Back at the car. Just came off the Sherburn Ski Trail. Put a fork in me. I'm freaking done. Another one in the bag. Thanks for watching. Look at this parking lot full. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that. All over the road. Look at these people. That guy's completely blocked in. Oh my god. 